morning miners back right here again with another good catch video for you St sticking with the tower defense special uh today we're gonna be looking at a little bit more unique one this one uh we've done some very basic ones i've showed you it's the basic of the basics and a more advanced version of the basic tower defense this one takes the uh, takes the entire tower defense concept and puts it on its head and it's kind of funny because this is one that has actually been suggested already in the comments all over the place in so many videos for for or in some in both of the past videos that when I was talking about um big t tower defense games this one was already suggested like crazy but here's the thing whenever people are suggesting this game they always go straight for the end of the product um this is a whole series that I'm going to be covering well essentially I'm going to I'm going to show you two of the games that are part of the series this one actually goes up to uh number 5 and this is called Bloons Tower Defense. That's not Balloons, that's B that's Bloons. That's B L O O N S, okay? I don't know why they stuck with it. It just kind of gives it its own, own unique unique name as you can see. Bloons. Got to be Bloons. And this this game, it's a lot more unique in the way that it works. Uh it really takes the idea of um enemy hit points and completely turns it on its head. Now, we're going to be looking first, we're going to start with Bloons 2. And um, I'm going to show you two different versions for a very, very good reason. We're going to do Bloons 2, and then we're going to do the final one. We're going to do Bloons 5. And I'm going to show you the significant differences between the two. Because both are very good games in their own right. So, basically the second one just takes the concept and takes it to a much higher level. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll start a game. Uh, I'm going to do it at medium just because I can't, honestly, I just like the look of it better. Now, the idea of balloons, uh, outside of the fact that when you're talking about um, the Ninja Kiwi game here, the, the balloons tower defense, everything is basically, um, they, they love their monkeys, okay? Uh, the original game that this is based off of, which is balloons, um, is actually a game where you're taking um, a monkey that's shooting a dart up at balloons that are in the landscape. And you, the idea of the game is to take out all the balloons in the area, okay? So that's the original game. This is the tower defense version. And because it's a tower defense version of another game, they like to stick with the same characters of that game. So what you get a lot is everything is ba basically monkey-based, which is fine. Everyone loves monkeys, right? So we get monkeys. So uh, that's what a lot of the towers are in this. And the towers, they're actually pretty... Um, well, they're pretty simple. Uh, you have your, your basic dart tower. And I'm going to go ahead and just start start up around here because I'm not going to be able to do much more than this anyways. Um, and you have your basic dart tower that just does one damage and stuff like that. And you have uh, your area effect. You have your slow. You have your bombs, stuff like that. But you'll see how they get very unique later on. Now, you're noticing the, the enemies, they're balloons. Plain and simple. And this is why this game in itself is very, very unique. Unlike every other tower defense that I've ever seen out there, this game decides to make it so that every single enemy, every single hit is one hit point. There is no 15 hit point, 5,000 hit point boss, okay? Everything is one hit point because they're balloons and you're shooting them with darts. And the entire concept behind that adds a lot of uniqueness to this game, okay? It really takes the entire concept of hit points and it turns it on its head. And I, I have always liked that about this game. It's a really, really beautiful idea. Now you do add some other effects, like you can add a piercing dart, like we're going to add, add here in a little bit. That makes it so that, it'll take, so that once it hits one, it'll go through and hit another one. But it's not going to damage more than one. Also, you get different types of balloons. Like you'll have a blue. If you notice, you saw the, the blue one that just came through. Um, the blue one. And I'm sure I'll have another one here in a second. The blue ones are essentially are, are a little bit bigger because they, they the concept is there is a balloon inside the balloon. So you pop the outside one, and then you pop the inside one. So you have to hit them in order. And no matter how much damage you do to this balloon, it's always going to do only one damage. So you have to hit it a number of times, not for a number of damage. And we're gonna a few of these are going to go through. I'm not actually trying that hard to beat the game here right now. And they get give you a lot of lives just to to start with uh, you actually start in, in easy mode with 100 in medium you get like 75 and hard is 50 and so even at level 50 at the hardest levels you still get 50 lives which is a lot less than you would think so 
Yeah, they the, the damage gets pretty bad pretty quick for that type of stuff. But well, let's, let's just keep going here. We're going to give piercing to this one. And you'll see uh, it's just going to take out two at once here. And you can upgrade them all like that. I'm, pro I'm, like, I'm actually going to give this guy, I'm going to give this guy a longer range so he can do some damage over in this corner here too. Uh, you also get some more unique... Um, Blue uh, uh, poppers here too, and like I said, it it has nothing to do with damage. So I could hit this balloon with a bomb, okay. And even though there's another balloon inside it, it does not take out that inside balloon with that bomb, okay. It's always one hit point. It's always one hit point. No matter what it is that you throw at them, you're only gonna do one damage. Let's just go ahead and hit piercing on this one too, so he can do more damage. Now you got the. And this is how it upgrades the, the enemies too, as you can tell. So an upgraded enemy is not um, more hit points; it's more layers to the balloon. Okay. Now we have upgraded versions of towers too. It's not all the um, monkeys, and we'll get some get to some of those in a little bit as soon as we get some more um, money, because money comes a little bit slower in this game. The, it, 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 now, I'm telling you right now, it does start a little slow, but because the idea is that you need to work your way up to these higher higher end towers. You can't just suddenly start blowing everything up right out, right off the gate, which is good. You don't want it to be too OP too early on, and this game does not really let you get to an OP level until later on. Also, you can't place towers in this version in the middle of the game. You need to wait until the round finishes before you can place anything. And I find that kind of interesting too. I don't know if that was because of limitations in the game or if they actually designed it that way on purpose, but it definitely adds some uniqueness to it. Now, a lot of people like to strategize by getting a lot of the monkeys really close together in the beginning to get a lot more power out of them in a small area. And I think we might follow that concept. But let's go ahead and let's, since we're doing not doing this for um, professional or anything like that, we're just going to do this for fun. Let's go ahead and we'll add some more unique towers. So uh, let's go ahead and start this round off and get some more money. You notice at the end of every round, I get get a uh, like a, an allowance too. Also, you get some emergency stuff right here. Like if I think they're about to bust through everything, I can go ahead and toss down some stuff that's going to slow down the group, or I can put down some road spikes. But it's not cost effective. Uh, this will take out 10, 10 pops, but it will, but it costs you 30, so you want to get more cost effective anyway. Same thing with the monkey, ta monkey glue thing here. It'll slow down 20 of them, but in the process of slowing down 20, it costs 40. So, trade-offs. Okay, now, now let's look at what we, what we can do for an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and do a tax shooter. Uh, n nice little unique upgrade. And we're going to put this guy right here because we want him to do a li n nice large area of effect type deal. So we're going to put him here. And we're going to just start the round. And I want to save money because we want to get this cannon as soon as we can, too. So. But it's still sticking with the idea of darts versus balloons. At most of the stuff that you upgrade in this game is essentially you're getting different versions of spikes. Different versions of darts. Which is, they stick with a the theme. There, there is the exception that you get, do get the cannon. Uh, the cannon just does explosive damage. It do, when I do say explosive damage, it just does an area of effect with a round. And we're going to do a faster shooting one right here. And with this particular version of the game, a lot of the people, well, like I said, they'll, they'll put in tight spaces for everything. Because you see, there's only so many different towers. Like these two, uh, these two right here aren't really towers. So you only really have one, two, three, four, five, six different types of towers. So a lot of people, and they're not really that expensive towards the end of the game, They'll, a lot of people actually just take the concept of the tower and they'll just, um, they'll, they'll put a whole mess of them together. And you'll get these big old balls of, like, just monkeys or something like that. We're gonna, we're gonna put down some road spikes here to save myself a little bit of life. Because I'm not really trying. And keep this going. Oh, and now we get to, now we get to some of the more unique balloons. Uh, you saw, you saw the yellow ones are essentially four balloons. Um, now you get to something like the rainbow balloon. Rainbow balloon. This is where it gets the. This is where uh, balloons two adds a lot more complexity to the game because um, there's a lot of balloons inside of balloons inside of balloons inside of balloons. Um, for this one, we're looking at the the rainbow balloon. The rainbow balloon has uh, what is it? Two black balloons and two white balloons, I think. And the black balloons are ex explosive proof. And the white balloons are freeze proof. And you see you have a freeze tower here. So that, that's what where the freezing comes in. And you have, of course, the explosive power here. So that's where the explosives come in. Which we're going to get into the next round. Because I'll have enough money finally. 
and round over. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the explosive. Now, like I said, let me be clear. This is not going to do more damage. Even though we are adding a gigantic cannon, which blows balloons up, you'll notice it's not actually doing more damage. It's just removing a large, uh, uh, doing an area of effect of one hit point of damage for all the ones in the area. But it does it in a pretty large area. And you can upgrade that, of course. And this adds to the next way that it, 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 uh, it works things. It, what it likes to do is it adds immunity, immunity to various things. Like, um, there are things that are specifically immune to taking damage from darts. And there's things that are specifically immune to taking damage from bombs. And there's things that are specifically immune to taking, uh, to taking freeze effects. So it, that's how it, it, makes, it makes it so you can't just spam dart monkeys. And you can't just spam explosives. Because you just spam anything, you're going to get owned. And I like that. I like how it, it adds the uniqueness to that. You can't just do one thing. If you do one thing, it's a boring game. Now we're going to add a bigger bomb here. Bigger bombs, you can see, there's a larger area of effect. That's it. It doesn't actually damage them more. It just does, It just hits, hits more of them. That's it. We're not going to add extra range because that's kind of pointless at this point. Um, let's go ahead and keep saving up here. I want to see if we can save up for this guy right here, because this guy's fun. And honestly, if we get, start to take a lot of damage, I'm just going to buy him anyways and show him off a little bit, because he's fun. And let's get through a few more rounds here. Uh, I'm How much money do we got right now? We can do a few more. And uh, now, it does have some more unique towers. We're going to take a look at the boom, 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 boom. The boomerang tower right here. This one, what it does is it will do multiple multiple hits off of one throw. It's still piercing damage, but it does it in an arc arc form. A lot of the, another thing that's really important in this game is the direction in which they throw. Like you saw, these guys they can get the piercing damage, and um the, and you see that they're all shooting at the one in the front. So there there is no hit first, hit last in this version of the game. In the later versions of the game. They do add that, but in this version, there is no hit, there is no first, last, anything. You can only shoot what's coming down. So you need to plan where their boomerangs or their darts are going to fly. You see, I placed this one so that he's when he's hitting the last one, he's going to be going in this direction. So his pierce is going to hit multiple targets. Same with this one. He's going to hit multiple targets here. This one, I just want to get a larger area. And this one, I placed here so that he'll get an arc here. So he'll always hit like right in this spot or right in this spot. And that will make it so it blows up right here to get that large corner effect. And that's required for a lot of stuff. Actually, I think we're going to go ahead. Yeah, here we go. Now we get the lead balloon. And lead balloon is completely immune to taking damage from the uh, anything that's piercing. The only thing that can damage it is a cannon. Again, making it so you're forced to use other things. And that's always good. It's It makes it so that you don't just stick to one option. And what I like about this game is when you're first encountering these things, they'll usually get throw it at you once and then make, make it so that you can adjust your strategy over the next couple rounds. Okay, we are going to get owned here if I don't do something. So let's go ahead and make it so that I don't get owned. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, how much money do we get if we sell these guys off? Let's see. This uh, three. So that's about 1,000. 1,400. That's not enough yet. I, I, I want to save up for this guy. I want, want to be able to show him. Um, but let's go through a few more rounds. I'm going to put another one of these bomb towers right about here to thin things out a bit. And I think we're going to put in an ice tower right here to make it so that, um, well, we slow them down. Now, ice towers, they're, they're just like you find in a lot of other games. Uh, basically, all they do is have, they have a freeze effect, which you'll see when they start to come around the corner here. They get frozen. Now, what I like about this game, though, they don't just get frozen. They get Well, they do. They don't just get frozen, and that's a perfect benefit all the way around. What you'll notice is a lot of these things, um, when they get frozen, you'll hear a sound of tick, of, dink, of things just kind of bouncing off of them. Because the frozen balloons are immune to darts. So, when they're frozen, these guys do nothing. 
fact, you can get, upgrade this guy so that he can damage them. So that's what a Sonic Boom is. A Sonic Boom, all it does is it makes it so that he can damage um, the, the Frozen Balloons. Uh, the only way you can break a Frozen Balloon is with bombs. Bombs and, or with this guy. That's it. So it makes it so that you can slow them down. But unless you have the right thing in the area, it's not going to do anything. And this becomes a bigger factor in uh, the, late, the later versions of this game. Because there's... A, there's certain things that will do damage and certain things that won't. Uh, they add a lot more towers in later game, so we will see that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get through a few more rounds here so that we can see if we can afford the later level stuff. And now it's going to get more difficult. I'm hoping I'm going to survive this round, actually. Might not. Yeah, we might not survive this round. Yeah, I just got that one. Okay, let's see if we can afford what I wanted to do now. Um, we're just going to show you real quick. You know, I'm just going to sell everything. And we're going to see if we can afford this here Super Monkey just because I want to see it. If I can't, we're just going to go ahead and skip to the other version of the game so we can show that off a little bit. Just barely. Okay, so the Super Monkey. This guy is fun, okay? This is where it takes the idea of the darts and the monkeys and takes it to the nth degree. And you'll see this a lot in the later game, too. Uh, it's not just a monkey. He does shoot darts. He just shoots them like a machine gun shoots them. But again, it doesn't make him OP, okay? No, we're going to lose, by, by the way. We did lose that round. I knew that we would because we just took out every single tower and just added a super monkey. So that, that was a given. But it doesn't just make it so that it's a completely OP upgrade. You saw he's throwing darts, okay? That means you can't freeze them. It's still going to do the exact same type of damage. It's still going to do one hit. And it's still going to do damage that cannot be frozen. Um, but that... Okay, so... Um, uh, so it's a very unique concept in the fact that it does the one damage throughout, and I love that. It's a, it makes it it takes the whole hit point thing and throws it on its head. Now I'm going to take a short break, and I'm going to show you Tower Defense, uh, Bloons Tower Defense Five, where it takes this and it basically uh, goes through an evolution progress to a later degree in uh, down the road. Like if you're fighting balloons for a while, and uh, this is where things evolve to. So. I guess that's one way of looking at it. On the other hand, it's just it's just number five. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so here we are in the last version of this game. You can tell if you guys who've been playing this a while can take a look at this and see. I have played it quite a bit. It is a pretty good game. Um, the, this version of the game, it's uh, unfortunately it does add a lot more monetization to the game because it adds a lot of stuff where you can like um, buy various bucks and stuff like that. So in in one regards, it is a completely free game. On the other hand, it is kind of a pay to win if you want wanted to um, upgrade yourself to the nth degree early on. But it is still a completely free game, so it's still valid for me to using use it in cash. So we can live with that. I can tell you right now, I've never played I've never paid a dime for this game, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Now this game adds a lot more complexity you could already tell this is the main screen okay balloons td5 first thing you could you could do uh let's actually let's look at the number of different towers that you have okay so you have the dart monkey like before and this tax shooter but you can also get the, the uh, and you still have the boomerang thrower and the bomb tower but you the and the ice tower which is now a monkey by the way because they want to but you can get the, a sniper monkey, you can get a ninja monkey, and you can get a glue gunner, which you saw the glue that I had before, now they can shoot the glue. And you can get a buccaneer, a buccaneer monkey, which is basically just one that stays on the water and owns everything. You can get the monkey ace, which is an airplane monkey, it's a tower that moves. Uh, you can get a, ma a magic one, you can get a monkey village, you can get, which is like basic um, area of effect upgrade type stuff. You can get... Uh, farms, which is basically just um, mines for money. You can get tax shooters, which is like the tax you saw me laying down before, but it automatically lays them down. Dartling gun, which oh, we we're gonna play with these now. The beaut of the beaut, the, the beauty of this is not only do you get do you unlock these various towers but by, through getting various levels in the game. You don't start with all this. You start with like the same number that you start with in the previous game. But you unlock these through play, and it adds a lot of fun to the game because it gives you a reason to play it more. 
it's not just one level. It makes it so you got to go through and upgrade stuff just to get to this point. And then even after that, you got to upgrade the various stuff. You know, it adds a lot, a lot of upgrades and upgrades and upgrades, which is always fun in these types of games. In addition, you can also um, add special buildings, which um, after you buy them, it makes it so that one particular tower type gets a lot of upgrades to it, which um, then you got to pay to get more stuff added to it, of course. Um, like this one, I, I, I like the, the glue guy, you could tell. Um, so uh, it, it reduces their upgrade costs, increases their slowdown, and stuff like that. It adds a lot, lot of cool stuff. And like, if you looked at something that's basic, like the dart monkey, which is way up here, which uh, makes it so that they cost less and um, their attack speed increases. And this is all stuff that's just active from the beginning. From the beginning. You can also uh, get special agents, which is something you basically pay for to toss down a special one, which is you use the in-game monkey bucks that you get. Now you can pay for the monkey bucks, you could just get them through general play, which is how I got all the stuff I got. You can also get them by, get the money, monkey bucks by doing the um, days in a row. As long as you keep coming back here day after day, you'll get some free money to use in the game. So same thing with the premium content. Uh, well, actually, the premium content, I think you actually had to pay for in general, so let's not look too much at that. That's the stuff where you can pay to win type of deal, which is good if you don't want to play the game for a month, but still want to play the game. We're, we're not doing that. Okay, now, let's look at the actual game. Also, you could tell there are a lot, 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 lot more tracks, and they get from really simple to ridiculous um some of these ones they there are they're coming in from multiple directions they're this one's unusual because this one not only did they come in from multiple directions but that direction changes according to where the clock hands are i believe they come in from the minute hand and they leave through the hour hand which means they go in here they go around and then they go out here which is interesting uh then you have some of these other ones um which are just oh man they this one's just a straight shot. They just go straight through, through two lanes, which makes it very difficult. And the basic different levels of difficulty, the, the actual gameplay doesn't change so much, it's just the directions that they change to go through all, everything. And it adds a lot of complexity, and you get various levels that allow for different things. Like I said that there's a buccaneer uh, monkey, which makes it so that it only works on water. You can see some of these levels have a lot of water, and some of them have none. So you just can't use it at all. So, so you can completely upgrade your favorite uh, tower and not be able to use it at all if you go to the wrong stage. But let's go ahead and we'll do a simple board. Let's do the most basic of basic boards. We're going to go here. And you notice, uh, like uh, unlike in the previous game where the, the level determined the difficulty, in this one they do allow you to get the difficulty level determined by how much... by um by here the, the difficulty doesn't change by the by the, oh you also get different modes here but you, the difficulty doesn't change by um uh the level of the difficulty changes by what you tell it to be and that that is an obvious change that they didn't do in the previous one but i do like that uh but let's go ahead we're going to do a sandbox mode just because we can um and and so just so i could show you uh the various towers that you get here um so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and some play some stuff here. Uh, we're first going to show you the basic, they're going to come in here and go out here if I remember correctly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place the basic towers so you can see how they still work. And now we're just going to take this and we're going to turn it all on, on, its, on its head by showing you some of the more upgraded levels. Well, let's go ahead and do this. And I'm actually going to put down a glue gunner here too because they're just awesome. We're going to put you right right here I'm thinking yeah and we're gonna upgrade you like crazy because I and you can tell the upgrades themselves have gotten so much better uh, you have four upgrades per per side so you get eight upgrades per tower and the upgrade that you choose really changes what the what these things do like uh, this one not only is the glue gunner just play, placing glue but after once you get the glue soak it soaks through all the levels of the balloons Corrosive glue makes it so that it actually does damage to the balloons. Then you get the balloon dissolver, balloon liquefier, so they do a lot more damage to them. Glue splatter, so not only does it place down, uh, hit the one balloon, but it hits an area of effect. Uh, one, uh, actually, this one does 
only gets two levels. Not all of them have the have eight levels of upgrades, but you get the general idea. And same thing with over here. Not only do you get the extra, the same things that you got before, where you got the extra range and the bigger bombs, but then you can upgrade it to frag frag grenades or cluster bombs or um, even bigger stuff. Or you could or over here we could turn them into a missile launcher or something like that. Which is also cool. Uh, and balloon impact, which basically makes it so that it be wait, wait. impacts from this tower become so violent, balloons become stunned. Yeah, so it basically slows them down. Um, and same thing with this guy. Uh, this guy, uh, the basic of the basic towers. You have your long range like you had in the last one, the sharp shot. So it so it's a piercing one. We can also they have different types in this game where uh, you have stealth towers, which are basically camo balloons. And you can take this guy and make him so he does damage to that. And you can do the same thing with this one. You can do the sharp shots over here so you can make him do more damage. Triple shots so he can do do three at once. Or we can do the spike pult, which um just does a whole bunch of damage straight in a row. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this one just because it's kind of cool. Uh, also, what, what if you notice, um, when you upgrade a certain one path past two, the other path, the path closes past two. Uh, that's what happened with this one over here. We chose to go with the corrosive instead of the splatter. I, I actually usually choose the splatter. I think I'm not really sure, but um, when you do that, actually no, I usually stick. I do stick with this one. When you do this, it closes the ultimate level of the second path, which is good because you can have two towers. Let's go ahead and we'll stick with we'll stick with this guy. He's upgraded to a, the, the maximum level, and let's go ahead and look at this guy and upgrade his other side to the maximum level. You can still get the two levels here. Still got the two levels here. Now we're going to do the spike pult, which now completely changes the him to do something completely different, where he's just going to shoot straight. So this is two of the same towers that are now both completely different. And you can also get a lot of other different types of balloons. Like we're going to put this guy right here, which is also really, really sweet. This is an area. He basically does area of effect attacks, but he doesn't hold still. And we can upgrade him to a degree. We'll just do that. Um, and finally, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start this so you can see how this game really goes. Uh, let's go ahead and send something out, huh? Um, and we're going to actually, before I do this, uh, let's go ahead and show you the dartling gun too, because he is a lot of fun. This is an unusual one because it's one that's actually directed by your mouse cursor. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade him because I like to. And now let's go ahead and send out a whole bunch of stuff. How do we send stuff out in this mode? Um, let's send out a bunch of these. Now, here's another thing that's unusual about this version of the game. If you notice that there, there's a lot of different types of balloons. So you got your basic, right? Which is your basic little bitty balloon like that, right? Okay, then you have your blue, your blue ones, which are the double level of that one, okay? And then you have your triples, which are the triple level of that, so three layers. And you have your four, which is four layers of that. And then you have your... This one, which is five layers, okay? Nice and simple so far. Six, this is also in the previous one. These ones are immune to explosions. They are not immune to corrosive damage, but they are immune to explosions. The seven, which is immune to ice. That, that's the really white balloons. You have this one, which is in the previous game, which is the lead towers. Which is immune to dart damage, but it does. Uh, by the way, this does not count as dart damage. Not after you get it past a certain a certain level, it counts as something. It counts as a laser, because it's a laser. And you get the zebra one. I don't even remember what the zebra one is. Oh, the zebra one turns into a white and a black when it blows up. Rainbows, which turn into just a bunch of other balloons inside of it. Now this is where this game changes completely in course. And this ha happens much later in the game, okay? So you have what are called ceramic balloons. And this is why I say this one is not the same as the previous one. Because even though this one, so far, everything has been one hit. When you get to the later levels of this game, it starts throwing these at you. These are not one hit. These actually have hit points. The ceramic balloons are 15 hit points before they before they blow up. You can tell when they're taking, taking damage. I'm not a fast forward good. Um, they actually have a degree of breakage, so they go, they go through five three stages for for the five damage that they do. Okay, and that makes this game a lot more like other tower defense games, and that's why I don't I, I showed you the other one first because it becomes more of a 
a normal tower defense when they start th throwing stuff at, that has hit points at you. And this becomes more evident because that's not the only one. While these are in here, and we can pretty much own them right now because I'm in uh, sandbox mode, but then you get these. And these have about 150 hit points before they blow up. So now we're doing the hit point thing again. And then it blows up into the ceramic balloons, which then blow up into the blacks and the whites and stuff like that, and so on and so forth. And it does, it's, do, doesn't stop there. You get uh, a next level from that, which is the uh, a different type. What is this? I don't remember. But this one, it basically spawns four of the other ones. Well, I'm going to fast forward on this one so we can do the damage quickly. Yeah, come on. Blow up. Yep, this does four of the other ones. Which then sp spams a bunch of other ones. And the same thing with the last level, which is... I'm not going to show you that one. It's just an upgraded version of these. But even though this does stick to a lot of the single characteristics of the other tower defense games, where it suddenly becomes a, a challenge of hit points, it still sticks with the balloon theme. And it does make it very unique. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to clear the board here. Uh, I don't even know how to clear the board. I probably just got to go through and sell everything. Um, sell, sell... Sell, sell, sell. And I'm going to show you guys what you can do with the Super Monkeys, which are really, really awesome in this game. Because there is stuff you could do with these guys that you could not do in the previous ones. Now, what you saw in the previous ones is where you, you can just get their, you can get their super, super range. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a Monkey Village next to this guy because this is basically increases their strength. And you normally would anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that gives him a much further range, and we can get an even more epic range by going like that. But you can tell we also have the laser blast like you get in the previous one. Uh, let's just go ahead and we're going to start tossing out a few balloons here so you can see how this looks. So you start where he can just do the, exactly what he did before. You guys already saw this part. And there. Okay, I like how it's got the bridges for this too. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that in there, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to spam him again. And suddenly we get a piercing damage. And this also not only does piercing damage, but it also, um, if they're iced, they will still burst. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an ice tower in here just so we can show this. Um, go ahead. You can tell it still will do the piercing damage because he's not using darts anymore. He's now using laser beams, which is a completely different thing. So we're going to take this and sell that because that was just for illustration. But this gets a little crazier. First of all, the, the costs for these things start to get redonkulous. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to send out a whole bunch of these so, you can see, so we can illustrate this a little bit better. Now we get plasma shots. And that's awesome because the plasma shots are just cool. They do a lot of damage, and they do a lot of damage really quick, because you're firing plasma from your monkey's eyes. And you can also, I, I also, I, I did forget to mention, but you can actually tell this guy to target certain things. You can tell over here, we do get the um, specifications where we can tell him to, only, to target the strongest thing first, which is also a huge benefit. We're going to go ahead and do this one again. Watch this. So now he's sticking with the strongest one first, instead of just going for the one in the lead. So, yeah, there we go. Eventually it becomes the strongest one is in the lead, because the strongest ones are usually faster, but you get the general idea. And finally we can get some other hi high levels here. We're going to do a second one here so we can show the two different types of monkeys that you can get out of this. We're going to put this one over here, we're going to upgrade him to this level that this one's at, and we're going to put this one into Robo Monkey mode. Robo Monkey is essentially the same thing. We're just going to do the maximum level of this because it's the same thing, just bigger. Robo Monkey. Is he in the same area of effect as this one? No. Takes the plasma beams and makes them huge. Absolutely massive huge. And it is beautiful. Uh, the damage that it, that it does is awesome. Awesome, and we'll just put another monkey thing over here just so we can get that, that extra range out of this guy. Because, why not? Okay. But you, could see, you could just got the extra range now so we can see a little bit better. Um, and I put this guy here for good reason because he's going to be a finisher. This guy, we're going to turn into something a little different. 
Now he's doing an area of effect attack, a try shot. But it's so much more than that. Let's go ahead and we're going to spam this. It's also a more expensive shot. That owns everything. It's a more expensive shot that owns everything. But then you get this level. And look at the cost of this one versus everything else that we've got bought so far. Let's go ahead and we're, I'm just going to put this guy down here. You can see the cost of things. 3,500, 1,000, 5,000, 1,500, 1,650 to get him to this level. 9,000 to get him to this level. And even to the next level, this one is 25,000 points. Okay, we're going to sell him off because that was just to illustrate this. The final level of this one, 90,000 um, dollars in the game. It takes forever to get to this level. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to illustrate this one a little bit better because we're going to put a tax shooter over here. And we're going to upgrade this one a little bit. And we're going to put um, a freeze tower right here. We're going to upgrade this a little bit. And we're going to put, I don't know, um, magic tower right here. We're going to upgrade this a little bit. Okay. What this one does, it demands a sacrifice. It takes everything in an area and puts it into one massive tower. And what it does is determined by the towers that it absorbed. So now watch this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit him with the big big dogs, okay? Now you can tell it's doing multiple different attacks. It's doing a magic attack where that's the, that's the um First of all, it's doing the big old beam attack, okay? It's also doing a the the uh, cyclone attack. That's um, a magic attack. It's also doing an area of effect attack. I don't know which one I, I think that was the spike factor that added, that added the area of effect attack. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit, hit this guy with a few big dogs. Just so you can see what this one really does. And this is kind of cool. Like actually getting this one in the regular game, it takes effort to get this sucker. But oh man, is it beautiful. But that's pretty much going to do it for what I'm going to show for this game, guys. I... I think that this game is unique enough to keep you guys busy for a long time. I've spent many many hours in this game and it is a blast and we're gonna tell this guy to stick with strong I think yeah we're gonna keep keep it strong with this guy you could you I, I've spent um, I think I've spent about two months in this game every morning and I've gotten to a high level and you see I've gotten everything unlocked and it's a lot of fun and I, I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I did because well it's a great game uh, actually we're gonna switch this guy to uh, first to help finish things off there we go and that's basically it so that would be bloons tower defense guys um it's a very unusual take on the game and i really think that it is one of the best tower defense games there is out there now next time we're going to show you again a completely different twist on the game we're going to take a look at what a tower really is because there are some very unique ones and um I think that you guys are going to find that one just as good. I'm not going to tell you which game it is, but it's death. I, I honestly, there's two date games that I could go in that direction. And um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to do next, but I really like how this series is going. And I'm, and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. So, but that's going to do it for Bloons Tower Defense. Uh, that is Bloons Tower Defense by Ninja Kiwi. Um, I play it both on Congregate and I've done it on Ninja Kiwi. Uh, I do it on Congregate because that's where I, I played it the first time, so I have this whole thing unlocked. But it is originally a Ninja Kiwi game, so feel free to go there if you want to see the full game. And that's going to do it for now, guys. Hope, hope you enjoy it as much as I do. You guys have a good one. Sound effects or something where basically it's like you were just um, sitting in school and you're just making sound effects with your friends as you go through and do something. I love that. It really adds to the character of the game, and I, I, I love gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. And even though I have a bunch of my guys equipped with 